The Swim Competition Today is the day of Kendra's first swim competition. In the fall, she joined the high school girls' swim team. Now, after six weeks of working with the team, it's time to see how she will do. The swim competition is at the big swimming pool at Kendra and Mateo's school. The swimmers from Kendra's school are wearing blue swimsuits. The swimmers from a different high school are wearing red swimsuits. Kendra's mom is watching from a seat in front of the pool. Hi, Mateo, she calls. Mateo smiles and waves his hand. He is helping at the competition. He will be working the stopwatch for the fourth swim lane. The girls do their warm up swimming before the first race. They don't swim fast because they don't want to get tired before they race. Now Kendra is getting in the water. It's cold at first, like the water at the lake in the summer. This water is for swimming fast. There are many different races at the swim competition. Some are short and some are long. Kendra's race is the 100 meter swim. A man says, Swimmers get ready, and then the swimmers are off. Mateo starts the stopwatch. The numbers on the watch are going. Now he looks at Kendra in the water. She is swimming fast. She has to swim to the far end of the pool and back two times. A girl in lane three wearing a red and black swimsuit is first, but Kendra is behind her, coming nearer. After they arrive at the far end of the pool a second time, Kendra starts to swim faster. Go, Kendra! Kendra's mother is calling from her seat. Now the girl in lane three is beginning to slow down. With five meters to go, Kendra is now first. Now her hand is at the wall. Lane four, says the man. Kendra is the winner of the race. Kendra is smiling as she is getting out of the water. She asks Mateo, What is my time for the race? That is when Mateo sees that the stopwatch says 10 seconds. Oh no, he says. The stopwatch is not working. It stopped too early. Or I stopped it too early. I'm not able to give you your time. A woman working at the competition tells Kendra, That's okay. We know that you're the winner. But we will have to give you the same time as the second swimmer. Then she gives Mateo a different stopwatch. At the end of the competition, Kendra's blue and green team has the most wins. Kendra's mother is hugging her daughter. You sure can swim fast. But we don't know how fast, says Mateo. He is sorry that he was not able to get a time for Kendra's first race. After the swim competition, Kendra's mother takes them to a restaurant downtown. Kendra is eating chicken and beans and a salad and she has a potato with butter and salt and pepper. All that swimming has made me very hungry, she says. Are you angry that I was not able to get your time for your first race? Mateo asks. No, that's okay, says Kendra. I'm happy we had the most wins, and there will be many more races in the coming weeks. Now Mateo is smiling. I know what to do for next time. You will see. That night, Mateo goes down to his dad's workshop and begins working. After three days, he comes to the pool to meet with Kendra's swim teacher. This is a robot stopwatch, he says. You wear it like a watch. It starts when you jump off at the beginning of the race, and it ends when your hand hits the wall. It can go underwater because it's made of plastic. Kendra's swim teacher is smiling. A robot stopwatch. That is just what we need. Now we will always know the time for the swim races. All the swimmers are so happy that they throw Mateo in the swimming pool. Mateo is wet, but he is smiling too.